Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Shanae and welcome. And for those of you who have been a part of the tribe, welcome back. I know it's been <clears throat> about a year now. <laughs> it's been forever since I've been on here and there's so much that I can't wait to catch you up on. But for today, this video is just simple, easy. Oh, sorry, there's gifts here. <laughs> uh, today is just simple, super kind of easygoing video. I just wanted to hop on here to come and say hello and, you know, just kind of check in, see how everyone is doing, um, spread some positivity, spread some encouragement. You know, this year has been a whirlwind. Um, there's between the pandemic and the social racial tension and uprisings and all of those things like you know who would have thought but you know for me personally it has been a year of true true clarity and um that 2020 that 2020 vision that we've all been talking about and we were asking for so you got to be careful what you ask for you got to be specific um, but i you know i say all that to say although this has been a very very tough year um you know for me personally it has been a year of triumph i had a big milestone this year and um you know so far so good I'm kind of sad because it's the 30th day of November and <laughs> if you don't know what that is my birthday is in November it's November 1st and so I've just kind of dubbed it November um, because this year in particular I had a, like I said I had a big milestone and um, yeah I just kind of you know had some fun with the month but I can't believe that this year is coming to a close it's just crazy to me but and I'll get into this in a, a little bit deeper in a different video um, but this time has really really changed my concept of time you know time really feels like an illusion it doesn't feel real um, and also you know even in all the chaos I really feel like I've gotten time to one you know confront a lot of traumas the racial traumas personal traumas um, and although it was ugly and nasty and sad and I had hate in my heart at some at, you know at one point um, I was able to finally kind of come through that because I I laid it all out on the table and you know you you heal what you reveal and what it was able to see now I'm able to move forward in the healing process and it's it has been the most um, profound experience that I have had in my entire life and I really also learned the importance of stillness I feel like this time you know for me personally I know everyone might have different faith but you know I God is my God and this time has allowed me to get closer to God and I'm still actively working on that relationship but I, I feel like even in all the chaos there was supposed to be a moment of stillness and I when I realized that I decided to take advantage of that and how powerful it really is because it's being still and living in my season of stillness has gotten me to push forward in ways that I would have never imagined. You know, I was very uncomfortable in a lot of the situations and through that I was able to grow. And although I still have a lot of uh, clarity to do, and I will talk about that in another video as well on what I'm going to be doing, you know, to just, you know, continue my journey of healing. I definitely feel like this year has been one of blessings for sure and you know in a time where it's so chaotic it's so sad there's so so much going on around us 
you know I still found time to be still and be still with God and that had allowed me to get a lot of the answers that I was looking for in certain things in my life and I encourage everyone else to do the same you know I know this year is wrapping up um, but instead of looking at it like oh it's the end of the year I think you know you look at it as a continuation of a new journey and potentially potentially a new lifestyle for all of us and so I just want to encourage everyone to just continue on your journey and to give yourself the grace that you deserve and that you need and you know just continue to be great continue to be you I can't wait to come back on here and share all of the amazing things that I've been working on and God has revealed to me uh, during this time. But I just wanted to come in and check in and say hi. I miss you guys. I love you guys. And I cannot wait uh, to get back on here and give you some more content that I'm really excited to share. But until next time, I love you all so much. Please continue to go in peace and enjoy life. And, you know, above all, love yourself, love the people who love you back. Make sure that you are pouring into the cups of those who are pouring into you. But until next time, I love you. See you later. Bye.